I'm really excited about this video. I was making this dress, um, this mushroom dress, and uh, I kind of wanted an accessory to go with it that was kind of mushroomy. Um, so I tried wool felting for the first time ever, and let's get to it. So before starting this project, I purchased and made a few tools to um, do this flat felting project. And I used uh, the star felting needle to do flat needle felting. Um, but I'd never done this before, so I was kind of unsure how to begin. So I just kind of started. I'd seen a few tutorials and I thought I had a pretty good feel for it. Um, but my needles weren't passing through very easily. Not exactly what I had seen um, people do in their tutorials on flat felting and felt sculpting. I kept the cardboard form in to kind of help the beret keep its shape but it uh, wasn't working. So I put back in the pillow I had made um, out of some uh, scrap uh, wool felt that I had and I got back to it. But the felting needles were still not passing through. So despite having seen this material used um, for this and hoping that I could, you know, like reuse some packaging stuff, um, I used it, but I went back to just doing the pillow. And, uh, and it was finally working. I ordered some merino wool off Amazon and uh, this stuff wasn't carded at all so I got to break out my carters, my wool carters, aka dog grooming brushes, <laughs> um, for the first time. Um, and I was really hoping that, you know, it would come up with the consistency I, I, I needed to work with. After having difficulty trying to add just a little bit of black to this berry colored merino wool, I realized at once that there are different kinds of wools and, and what makes them different. Um, it was very difficult to put the black into the berry colored wool. Yeah, especially since the black was already carded. I realized that what I was doing with the little um, tag at the top um, was actually um, sculpting with the wool so I had to use a different needle and yeah I poked myself that's why I'm wearing a thimble yeah I, I didn't with the rest of the fil flat felting but but when I was doing this little top knob thing here the top of the mushroom um, yeah I uh, I poked myself a rather humbling experience for someone who does not like using thimbles. I didn't want to spend too much money on this uh, project, especially if I didn't like wool felting. Um, but there were some tools that I had to buy, and two of them were the wool carters. And there really realistically would be no backup use for them, as my chihuahua, well, they're more like a nightmare for him, um, and he's also a short-haired chi, and he, he's tiny. I mean, he's so tiny, I, I don't even need to, I didn't even, wouldn't even have needed one. Um, besides, one in each hand is, in his case, a tad excessive. He's convinced humans have uh, two hands so that we can pet him with both of them at the same time. So if this hobby didn't work out for me, I would be donating these brushes to a thrift store or, um, or a business grooming canines. At first it looked cool. I mean, it, it, it didn't look like a mushroom, but it, it looked cool. A definite coolness factor, but it, it really didn't look like a mushroom. 
to the point that I began to wonder why I was even filming it. It was starting to look rather embarrassing, but I couldn't stop working at it. It was kind of like a train wreck. So horrible, you just can't look away. And I was starting to get nervous because it wasn't looking like anything. It was just looking like a mess. Yeah. Don't look, don't look! Uh, I told you not to look. I was also getting tired of trying to card this merino wool with already carded lower quality wool. So I told myself, trust the process. I'd seen other YouTube videos and, and tutorials and things where uh, it didn't look like anything at first. But I also told myself that at least I had a dress and I still had something to film a reveal with and I didn't have to have an accessory and, and yeah, yeah, I, I told myself that too. So I kept working on it and started applying the details too, hoping that it would look like a shroom. until suddenly it started to look like some. As I started adding details, <laughs> I was getting excited because it was starting to look like a shroom. And, and I like those. I, I, I was liking this again. I, I, I was thinking it was fun. Yeah. yeah. As I'm always looking for current events to engage my viewers, I hope you're having a great World Lemur Day. Or had, as I did the voiceover for this video on Friday. I bet you had a wild party to celebrate it too. It totally caught me off guard this year. Thank goodness for the Microsoft browser for reminding me. Continuing to prove how Microsoft browser is the most relevant browser. Seriously though, I wonder how we managed our lives before the internet. All that was left was to add those little details um, to the underside to make it look more mushroomy, if mushroomy is a word, which I don't think it is. But in this day and age, so many words and definitions for those words are being added to the dictionary. Some that defy the laws of grammar. So in the interests of inclusivity, I do not want to feel left out and I shall also add a word to the dictionary. So mushroom e shall be a word. And I realized after doing this for a while that uh, in the future, if I did a project like this again, which I will, um, I should do the underside first, those details first, because uh, yeah, things were getting a little smashed on the top of the beret, so yeah. I barely had enough of the dark brown to finish the detailing on the top side of the mushroom, um, and I was also running low of this color uh, too because man, I, I really did not want to have to drive 45 minutes to an hour to a craft store especially since I wasn't sure that they had it in stock in this color um, so I was trying to make it last and some of the lines were kind of thin and that's how much I had left over and at least I was able to complete 
the gills uh, uh, on the underside of this mushroom cap. And yes, they are called gills. You can Google it. As it was just about done, it's time for... Thanks for watching till the end. And if you like this video, please give it a like. It really helps me out. And if you like this kind of content, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I upload on Sundays at least twice a month. Um, that's all I have for you this week. And uh, yeah, this is Mountain June saying bye now. Also, if you want to see this hat again, well, I'll be wearing it with the dress um, that I'm featuring in next week's video, so stay tuned.